What's going on, everybody? So we have a lot of news to cover right now for the Packers. So I'm going to go through the four players the Packers just signed. Also, five, I think it's four or five other guys added to the COVID list, which now makes it somewhere around like 15, 16 Packers players on the COVID list. And then go over at the end the injury updates for today, for today's practice for the Packers. And if you guys are new here, you haven't subscribed to put out Packers content daily, news, updates, rumors, all things like that. So if you want to see more of that, feel free to subscribe down below. So starting off here, sort of to, to sort of give an idea of all that happened today, we have a excerpt here from Packers.com sort of going over some of this news. They say the Green Bay Packers have activated cornerback Jair Alexander, which I already made a video on, off injured reserve. Elevated tackle slash guard Colvin Lannon from the practice squad to the active roster as a COVID-19 replacement. Play safety Henry Black. Punter Corey Bohorquez. Tied in Tyler Davis. Defensive lineman Kinsley Kiki on the COVID-19 list. Signed linebacker Aaron Adoye. Tied, uh, tackle Adrian Ely. Cornerback Jason Stanley. And running back Kareth White to the practice squad. And play Stanley on the practice squad reserve slash COVID-19 list. General Manager Brian Gutekunst announced the transactions Wednesday. So five more players are added to the COVID reserve list. We'll see if they are able to play on Sunday, if they're able to come off the reserve list by that time. Also, you know, one issue, Corey Bohorquez is on that list. The Packers may need to find another person to come in here and punt the ball. So that will be something to keep an eye on. But just to recap you guys, yesterday the guys who were added to the COVID list, Ben Braden, Tiba Naliai, Amari Rodgers, Ty Summers, and RJ McIntosh, who's on the practice squad. And then already five other guys who are already on the practice squad before yesterday. Marquez Valdez-Scantling, Kevin King, Shamar John Charles, Ladarius Hamilton, practice squad, and Chauncey Rivers, who's on the IR. So that makes it about 15. Maybe I'm missing someone. But around 15 players now on the practice are on the uh COVID reserve list for the Packers. So with that being the case, it makes sense that the Packers have decided to uh, come in and sign a few different players because with that many guys on the COVID reserve list, the Packers clearly need to add a little bit more depth to this team because it's getting a little thin out there on the 53-man roster. So I just want to give a short little um, background on each of these guys. So linebacker Aaron Adioe, Adioye, that, that name is too hard for me to say, 6'6", 260. He spent a few weeks with the Packers practice squad earlier this season. He was originally signed as an undrafted free agent back in 2019 by the Baltimore Ravens, but he is now back um, on the Packers practice squad. Then we have tackle Adrian Ely, a rookie out of University of Oklahoma. He was originally signed by the Ravens as an undrafted free agent back in May. And he was actually on the Ravens, Broncos, and Rams practice squad earlier this season. So some more offensive line depth there on the practice squad. Cornerback Jason Stanley, second-year player out of the University of Georgia. He was originally signed by the Falcons back in May of 2019. He was claimed off of the waivers by the Seahawks and played in eight games for them back in uh, 2020. And then finally, running back Kareth White was actually on the practice squad, on the Packers practice squad in November. He was actually originally selected by the Bears in the seventh round of the 2019 NFL Draft. He was signed by the Steelers and played in five games in 2019. And since then, he spent time with the Lions practice squad, the Bills during training camp, and also the Jaguars practice squad. So that's a little info on the four guys who the Packers did sign to the practice squad. And then moving on here to the injury updates for today for the Packers. As you can see right here, here is the Wednesday injury report. Of course, with Jair Alexander now being added to the 53-man roster, it doesn't mean he will play. And Matt LaFleur did say they'll have to, you know, gradually bring him back and see sort of when he is ready to officially go. But you can see there, shoulder injury for Jair, still limited, of course. David Bautiari still not practicing with his knee injury. Dominic Daphne limited with an ankle injury. Aaron Jones still limited with his knee injury. Tyler Lancaster didn't practice today with a back injury. Aaron Rodgers, of course, still resting that toe, not practicing on Wednesday. And then finally, Billy Turner still once again not practicing with his knee injury. So those are all the updates for today. Lots of things going down today for the Packers. And if you guys want to stay up to date with all things Packers, make sure you guys turn your notifications on. So that way, the second I make these videos, it gets uh, alerted right on your phone. But thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate appreciate. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.